So this is this is the magic of Android that we're watching right now. The magic. Yes. Really? No, this is the this is like Harry no, Potter it, stuff. It is. This is like the coolest thing they ever invented. <laughs> and I hated it when I when I first used it because I was like, I don't understand how this works or why you do this. What turned you? Um I don't know. I really it was just like I woke up one day and was like, oh my god, I'm in love with intense. <laughs> That's intense. It it is intense. <laughs> Um, but no, it, it's it's an amazing it's an amazing uh, way to get around a lot of issues um, that you don't really come across until you actually probably have to try to design your own mobile operating system. But the activity and intent relationship is really cool. Um, I really like it. I always thought of them as the um, you know like the arrow the um, the arrow in a flow chart. You know, activities are the the shapes you go between, but the intents are the arrows. Got it. So destination and uh, direction. Yes. Yes. And sometimes you can carry a little data with you. Mm -hmm. That's not what we're doing here. We're going very basic. And we're actually showing, um, showing well, we're, we're for the first time creating a new activity um, and showing how that code kind of correlates. So we get that set content view, right? Where um, that's actually what binds the activity to your view XML. Kind of showing how that goes down. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you have to register. Uh, you know, if you have an activity. Register an intent? Uh, an activity. Register it's, the activity. It's kind of like a, it's like, it's actually like a register, like as though you had like a, you know, a, a wedding register or like a plain manifest register. Mm -hmm. uh, you're registering and telling the operating system like, hello, mm -hmm. my name is second activity. Um, I respond to these types of intents and I will do this. And, you know, you're kind of like describing yourself. It's almost like a profile. It's mm -hmm. like the Facebook of right. Android operating system? <laughs> the Facebook of Android. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we might have to go back and delete that. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so what you're saying is whenever they're going to create a new activity that's beyond the, just the main activity, they are handed by a, you know, a blank project. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to register it. They do. It's not just like, hey, I'm going to create an activity and, and not register it and just use it. Well, no, because then it's it's almost like actually, you know what? It's like this is so antiquated, but it's like the phone book, huh? So it allows the operating system to know that hey, that's that's how I call you. Yeah. Like who who's who's currently listed? If you're not listed, um, I mean, it's just harder to get in contact with you, right? And it's and it's really awesome to be listed because when you, the more that you allow yourself to be uh, described well in that manifest the more that other applications um, can use you. Um, and we're, we'll get to that a little bit later. But here's just kind of the, you know, the default, like you can make an Android app if you can go from one activity to another. That's mm -hmm. like the very first, like, yes, I, I, can, I can now move around. Now I'm not just a single screen. Right, now I'm not just a single <laughs> screen. And now the possibilities are endless, right? Like yeah. you could make as many activities as you want. So we're doing our, our, our event listener thing. I love this every time. Every time. Come on. Your favorite. Bam. <laughs> Didn't have to write anything. And here we are actually doing the, the real work here. Creating a new intent. Mm hmm Now you call it I. I do. Why? Um, it's easier to, to type. I'm just going to use two lines. Got it. And then we get that that context, and then we no. get that class. So no need to be uh, specific. You can be generic with that nomenclature. Yeah, and the reason why I am is because line 31 and 32 are already in an anonymous class. Like, we're trying to make something readable. It's clear that the I from 31 is used in the I of 32. Um, there's no, really nothing descriptive that's going to help me there. And then, of course, you know, we, we verify. Does it work? Hey, it does. Yay. So the goal here is to wire up the first activity, the second activity. Every, everything that we see in this screen, detail activity. Uh, that comes later. So right now, what are, what's the goal that you're reaching for the, with, just, the, with just this current uh, objective? Right now, what we want to do is just go from the first activity to the second activity and back. 
And what's really cool about that in Android is is it's not like when you do that, you're creating like a billion activities. Like you're not it's not like, oh, two, three, four, or five. It's not like a stack. It's literally this activity has focus. Now this activity has focus. So just wiring up that basic communication between two apps is fundamentally the same as if you were issuing an intent out to the Maps application and coming back. So it's really just kind of crossing the road for the first time. On the activity life cycle, does each activity have its own life cycle? Yeah. Yeah. Each activity has, has its own life cycle. So when we switch, even though we're in the same, our own application, when we switch from uh, first activity uh, to second activity. So here's, here's the, the kicker to answer your question. Mm -hmm. There is no such thing as an application. Oh yeah. I, I think you just blew my brain. There's, there's no such thing. There are only activities. <laughs> now, Say that one more time. Okay. There, there is no such thing as an application. There are only activities. So even though they they feel like they're going to be building Android applications, what they're really building is Android activities. That's well, no, because they could build services, they could build other components. Okay. But just in terms of like the, the application idea is I'm gonna give you a starting activity that will start with my icon. Mm-hmm. And I will then do other things with other activities. But there is no application. There, there's just an activity, really, is, is what we launch as a UI thing. So they could interrupt and destroy their own activity with another activity. If they could, yeah. Yeah, in fact, with Intents, you, you can do lots of crazy stuff. You can register for... Um, you just... I'm not, I'm not sure I should just give them the idea of how destructive you can be. <laughs> um, but you, you can make some really, really bad stuff happen with uh, with all this power. But the good so, stuff, too. And so there we have it, right? In this case. You notice how we have first and second activity going back really fast. Mm -hmm. And also, we have the back button that, that, that will work. Are you going to test it here? Show them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? I'm not really testing at this point. I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> The functionality, it's great. 